Hey everybody, MTG Noob here bringing you another draft. Just wanted to uh, say thanks to everybody for giving me some great advice. Okay, uh, Call of Kindred is not great, I don't think. So we're going to pass on that. Uh, Bone Flinger is a good one. Captain's a good one. Quiver's a good one. Um, I think the best card is between Bone Flinger and Captain. I'm going to take the Captain and try to get some vampires going. Okay, this pack doesn't have much for us if we want to do the vampire theme. Except, oh wait, this guy. Yeah, that guy's pretty good. Uh, he's only got one toughness, which kind of sucks, but, you know, hopefully <clears throat> we'll get a few more great vampires going. So, a lot of the advice I received from my last draft, which, you know, I was trying to have a little bit of fun with, um, but, you know, um, I think it's better if I try to focus and, you know, do a, like, an, an archetype draft. Okay, so right now, uh, Green looks clearly open, but we're going to try to continue to force vampires. All right, I've been trying to take this guy and make him really good, but I haven't been too impressed. So we're just going to take a Chosen of Markov, and he's a, a pretty good beating. Um, we're very heavy on the three drops. There's also this guy. He does gain flying, but I'm just going to take him. Okay, we have a pretty good zombie. Uh, I think I'm going to take the quill here. Uh, it's really good, and I like it a lot. So we'll try that. Deadly Allure is also good, but not in our colors per se at the moment. Let's take the quill. Alright, uh, that's a really late Death's Caress. That pack must have been pretty beast. We'll gladly soak that up. As you can tell, I'm going to try to stay between these two colors. And as you can tell, I'm going to um, be drafting black red again. Um, hopefully, that's okay with you guys. I'll try to take your advice and not take any really heavy late drops since the format is pretty uh, tempo based. Uh, so we have a few picks here. We can take a Deadly Allure. Um, I really do like this card. Maybe it's considerable. I think Faithless Looting is better. Um, the other option is obviously the Evolving Wilds, but I'm going to take the looting and we'll see what happens. Continuing to stay on color. Okay, there's really nothing for us in this pack. Um, I think the thing that will be hardest for us to deal with is the Grave Tiller Worm. This guy's going to be a pain in the butt as well. Um, Chalice of Life is good, but I don't think we're gaining too much life. Foil Divination is always nice. Revelation is also always nice. So it's really between this card and this card. I think I'm going to just grab the giant worm. We haven't seen too many vampires coming around, so it might not be open. So we might have to pick up a secondary plan, which will take another green card just in case. All right, uh, this is our pack that we opened. Um, we can take some decent cards. I think Rack with Madness is good, but might be a little slow. Two Quivers is good, but very mana intensive. Um, I think we haven't really committed. Green still seems kind of open. Let me know what you would have done here. I think I'm going to take the Quiver and try it out. I know Rack might be a little bit better. But we'll definitely try that. Okay, a lot of decent cards here. Um, 
this is not one of them. Uh, it's between this, who's a decent guy, and this. I think if we are vampires, the elite inquisitor is kind of hard. All right, so we have a curse here. There's a lot of nice curses coming up. Gather the town folk. White might be open. I know you're going to yell at me being all over the place. I don't want the Matic. I don't think it's that great. Uh, it's between Gather the Town Folks and Curse. I'm going to just snatch up the Curse in case we grab anything. Alright, I'll take the Deadly Allure in case we decide to snatch up some other things. Alright, I'll take that. So, hopefully, you know, I'm trying to stay open, but it doesn't seem like Red is too open at the moment. Um, we have a lot of different cards in our deck. Um, we open pretty decent stuff, but nothing that I think we're going to make amazing. No little flying vampires, which sucks. Hopefully we get past some. I think the best card for us is probably the rig, especially since our deck might have a hard time dealing with the flyers. Um, Temblor is really good against us, but it doesn't handle the problem. Flyers, if we were blue, makeshift mauler would be pretty nice. And burial rights is always nice, but not in our deck. I don't really see anything else. I mean, we could take a green card, but we only have two green cards, and I'm going to try to stay in the red-black theme, and that helps us stay the most open. All right, here's a vampire. And this is a very good one. If we're lucky, maybe we'll wield this if we're aggressive enough. So we'll try that. And Heartless Summoning is good, but I don't think it's that great. The Waif is okay if we want to go very aggro. Cannibals is okay, but where it's a human and we have a lot of three drops. The Hound is probably a little bit better and more consistent than the Waif. So we'll take the Hound. Really trying to force this. All right, isolated chapels, nice. Um, but we have some other stuff, and I have a ton of isolated chapels. We might want a bump in the night. Uh, we might want an iron smith. These are three pretty decent cards. I think I'm gonna try to just take the torch. I like removal. Torch is okay, and it helps us deal with our flyers a lot. All right, this pack is pretty decent. Um, we'll do a course cost sort. We could probably take the pitch burn devils. I'm gonna pass a chapel, guys. I don't really like passing it. There's nothing really else for us. Night terrors is okay. I'll take a pitch burn devils. Helps us fill out the latter part of our curve. Wow, really? Like white seems very open, but I think it might be a little too late to jump into it. Um. I mean, we're like halfway through the draft, so I think the black-red deck is where we're going to have to be at. We'll take another rig. Keep us colorless. Okay, um, I think this is good in a vampire's deck, but I don't think we have enough vampires at the moment. I'm starting to fall into the late-game trap, but I think we... I don't really want another 5-drop. One, well, we only have two at the moment. Th two, um, we don't have enough vampires to make this really good. We have one, two, three, four vampires. I think I'm just gonna have to take the creature. I mean, vampiric fury might wheel. Oh wow, that's a gift. That's a gift and a half shell. Turtle power. All right, we're definitely gonna hide white and we're gonna hide green at this point and we'll see how our deck comes along and we'll hide land I don't want to get yelled at but <laughs> this deck is getting a little bit heavy on the sixes and fives I don't think I'm gonna be playing this curse of misfortune everything else looks okay I might not play the deadly allure we need more creatures especially with two quivers a blazing torch um, 
I'll take the unburial rights. I don't really like anything here. But I don't want to get blown out by some bomb later on. And we ourselves have not opened a Machaeus yet, or been past one, in case you checked out our last draft. I have nine creatures. We're hopefully going to have more creatures shortly. We have a lot of removal. But like we said, since this format is very tempo-based, opening removal, having a lot of removal is, is good, but not great. Since if they play early drops, tokens, and stuff like that, you might get a little bit screwed over. Okay, um... This is a vampire. It is another 5 drop. I think it's slightly better than Scourge. Uh, or Scourge. This is good in a very aggro deck. I don't think we're a very aggro deck at the moment. We'll just pick this up. Um, Ancient Grudge is a decent sideboard card. I'm going to snatch up the Heartless Summoning. Because I think we can get another Ancient Grudge. And Heartless Summoning kind of enables us to play heavier drops if we really want to. Plus, uh, you know, I mean, it's probably worth like 17 and a half ticks or something. Okay, um, what's worst? I don't, I don't think any of these cards are really good for us. I think Intangible Virtue is probably a little bit harder for our deck to deal with. Spare from Evil is also good against us. Um, I don't see a problem with running a one of Ghost Quarter. Corpse Lunge is also a pretty good gift if we get more creatures. We're at 10 now, so I'd like to open well and get like an on-caller bomb and then get past like a bunch of little guys. Like two and four drops would be nice. Let's uh, open an on-caller bomb. Okay, so... Ooh, and a foily. All right. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I want to take this six mana. Yeah, that's that guy's a beast and a half. I mean, you know, he's not a vampire, but geez, he's good. Okay, that probably means we're not playing all of our rigs, or we're gonna play 18 lands in this list. Right now, we're up to 20 cards, 11 creatures. So we'd like to fill in our creature count. Reaper from the Abyss. He's such a badass. Like, he's like, look at my wings. They have, like, mad holes, but I don't care. Alright, this pack sucks for us. That sucks. Like, that really just is, like, terrible. Um, we're not gonna take this. We can take a snake. Um, we can take this. I mean, he might be a little bit better. But this pack is just crap. Um, I'm going to take the Silent Departure. I'm going to hate draft that. Alright. Uh, this pack is nice. But once again we're drafting a really heavy late game deck. And I'm trying not to. But the cards are just... I think every draft I've done I've had this card as well. But now I have a foil version. So we might actually consider this Heartless Summoning. Believe it or not. I mean it'll help make our guys playable and faster. We're up to 12 creatures. We would like to have a few more. We're probably not playing this deadly allure. Could probably safely hide it now. I don't think we have any reason to splash green. We want some stupid little 2-1 flyers that don't block. That's what we're looking for. And some more of these guys. Maybe a juggernaut or two. Stuff that helps us fill out our curve. Doesn't put us all at late game drops. Okay, the person to my left or right is wherever we're at. Is clearly in our colors at this point. Because um, we're not getting anything. So they must have opened a bomb like maybe Liliana or like a red bomb and jumped in. Um, I guess I'll take a Disciple. I don't really like it, but I'll take it. Uh, there's better cards in the pack, like Spider Spawning's really good. We don't have enough creatures to make it good. It's like 
right now, do I get away from an okay guy in our deck? Do I hate out, like, some cards that are hard to deal with? We can't play Jun Colors. It's between Spire Spawning and a playable. Um, I'm just going to take the playable. If we lose to Spider Spawning, we lose to Spider Spawning. You know, this guy's a two-drop, fills out our deck well. Damn, stop giving me, like, prime removal. All right. Of course, this is a nice uh, little vampire pickup for us. We're not going to take another torch. We don't have enough torch. Uh, we have too many things. And once again, none of this is amazing. I'll just... This is okay, but I don't really like it. I'll take a Witchbane Orb. Take it over a Silent Departure. It fills out our curve if we want to play it. Uh, believe it or not, this guy might be good. Sideboard card. How many vampires are up to? One, two. I think we have enough vampires to possibly justify playing this. So let's do that. Okay, we can have another one. Or Night Terrors. I think we'll take another Vampiric uh, Fury. Alright. I don't think I'm going to play him, but I might be low enough on creatures. If not, I would hate that out. Walter's Reap is pretty nice late game. Wooden Stake beats the crap out of us. Um, I think I'll take the Reap. Gives us some card draw, which is always nice. So, we, we tried it. <laughs> we tried to produce a deck that has an early curve, but we just, we just didn't do it. I guess I don't listen to advice very well, but, I mean, I think our late game is really good if we can survive. Alright, none of this is good. Who cares? We'll take a Cathar. The rest of these cards are not going to be good. Imagine Vampire Nighthawk was still legal. How good would that be? Alright, do we want a Grimace? We're not going to play it on anything. We'll take it on Rully Mob. I think White might have been slightly open in this draft. But we would have just had, like, double Chapel Geist. And it seemed like White Spirits was open. So we could have taken that. Alright, so here's our draft. That's 28 cards. We're obviously not playing all these five drops. Once again, we have really good removal. And we have pretty average guys. We tried to build an early curve, but it didn't really happen. Uh, luckily for us, we have Heartless Summoning if we want it. I don't think we're going to want it, though. Let's put our creatures in first. And I'll pull them all down. Okay, so we have 12 really good creatures. By really good, I mean playable ones. And we have two more over here. So it's 14 creatures. That's all of our creatures. And uh, now... Jeez, oh, almost forgot one of the best creatures. All right, that's 15. Now we'll play our prime removal first, which are these three. And then we'll put in Torch, both our Quivers, Faithless Looting, maybe an Alter's Reap. Alter's Reap, Corch, Corpse Lunge. Fury's good, but I think it's more for aggressive. I think we're more defensive. Um, I don't think we're going to play this Ghost Quarter since we have double red, triple black cards. Uh, 15 creatures should be enough to make these quivers good late game. Um, I think 2 might be a little excessive because spending 10 mana to kill stuff is a little bit worse. So that means we probably could have had a rack with madness in the 4 slot over the second quiver. Um, I think I'm going to keep 1 in the board. And that was probably a mistake by us. Alright, so 
I don't know if I really want this Alter's Reap. We have to sack a creature. We don't really have any thing that we want to die. I definitely don't want to be playing all these five drops. If you get stuck in hand with all these guys, it's just bad news. So let's examine our five drops. But Corpse Lunge is pretty good with five drops, so I mean it's like cut a five drop, play eighteen land. We can always try this on burial rights because we have like some decent guys but I think we're gonna leave it at this um, let's add some land see what they suggest 9 8 uh, I like 9 9 and maybe cutting something I don't want to be cutting too many creatures if I'm gonna cut something I'll probably cut this Altar's Reap because it requires us to sacrifice a guy, either that or a Corpse Lunge. I mean, maybe Geist Catcher's Ring is too many. This deck seems like it wants 18 lands, though. I'm kind of mad that I have this Wolf Hunter's Quiver in the yard. I mean... Maybe it's really good. Maybe I should try two out. Let's consider that. All right, so we're up to 42 cards with 18 land, 15 creatures. We have to cut two cards. Right now, here are my candidates for cutting. Corpse Lunge. Quiver. Geist Catcher's Rig. And some of these crappy late game vampires scourge is also not good so we have some options all right let's look at our vampires a little bit more closely this guy gives haste he's a 4-4 he only gets haste if our opponent has a human this guy gets bigger and grows but he's got three toughness. I don't think that really matters. This guy is good against other creatures' decks, but I don't have like a fling or anything to make him amazing. So I'm going to side him out. That leaves us with one more cut that puts us down to 14 creatures. I think I'm going to... Another cut could be Alter's Reap, but we can Alter's Reap a big guy. This guy also turns on Morbid. I think I like the looting. I'll cut the quiver with 14 creatures doesn't seem amazing. Okay, so we might be playing too many lands. We're going to try this out. Um, like I said, your comments are always welcome. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll be bringing you the games, and please subscribe.